So this is my profile. Hello everybody, I am Arushi Dingra and this is my first attempt on a YouTube video. Uh, I am new on the platform so please excuse all the editing mishaps that are going to happen and oh my god this is my 500th attempt at this. Alright, so the purpose of this video was basically sharing my profile with everybody and my aspirations. I am a MS and CS aspirant uh, who is planning to go to the US for the fall 22 semester and hopefully, because we never know, <laughs> the COVID situation is very unpredictable uh, and for the admissions too. So if you are a fellow 2022 uh, aspirant, uh, you know what I'm talking about exactly. It's a bloodbath out there. It's so many unexpected results. I just hope that we can get that one ray of hope at the end of this admission result season. So the uh, point of this video was to probably share my profile with you and my universities that I have shortlisted. Uh, in long run, in other few videos, I would like to share the admits and rejects that I have gotten. As of now, I have gotten three replies, three answer backs from universities, which I would like to share uh, in the next videos. And oh my God, these are so unexpected, I believe. But yeah, we cannot control these situations, some things happen. This is what I have been explaining myself. So yeah, please uh, wait for all the rants that are about to come with all the rejects and all the mails that I have gotten with the rejects, uh, explaining the reasons uh, of those rejects and uh, admits and scholarships that I have gotten. All right. So uh, one side note for all the juniors who are watching this, who plan to go to the US in the near future. This is at no point your guiding uh, profile. Uh, if you see, if you find my profile good or like similar to you, and if you see a reject from like say Northeastern University, please don't be demoralized because this year has been anomalous and it is not a normal condition. I think that in normal conditions, I would have gotten an uh, admit from uh, Northeastern University, but sadly that did not happen. But yeah, please don't get demoralized if you're watching it and comparing it to yourself. And if you are a senior, uh, please help me out here. Oh my God. <laughs> right. So here goes my profile. Uh, I am a 2022 pass out. Uh, so this, uh, my CGPA is until the sixth semester. Uh, a side note again that this is until the November 2021. Uh, I have not included the internships and all the projects that I've been doing after that because I have not submitted that to the uh, universities. Uh, I believe that universities ask for your profile until the day you apply. So that was basically what I thought of doing. Right, so I had 8.81 CGPA until uh, sixth semester. Then I had a, a GRE of 324, which was a 159 in verbal and a 165 in quant. Along with that, I had five internships. One of them was not basically a machine learning uh, research internship. It was a geospatial research internship. But I uh, combined the geospatial technology with machine learning and that was what my SOP was all about. I cannot uh, speak about that in more detail because my profile is still under review at this point. But yeah, I would love to discuss my profile and my projects in the near future. Along with my internships, I have one paper uh, at Springer. Uh, it is not published as of now, it is under review and it has a preprint. So this is what I wrote in the application during that time. Uh, along with this, I have a website which contains my extracurriculars and the projects that I have made uh, with the links to those projects, GitHub links or the websites that I have deployed them. Uh, so this was basically my profile. I think it was a pretty average profile and I could have gotten into my safe universities but uh, anomalous situations at this moment and I could not get into one of those. So right now I would be discussing all the universities that I had shortlisted and uh, in the coming videos I would like to discuss the admits and rejects from those universities. So I divided my universities into safe, moderate and ambitious. Uh, if you are a junior and you are confused on how to do that, this is the way to go I think all seniors did that too. So uh, divide your uh, 
universities into three parts. One thing that I did grammatically correct was I never made a column called safe column because no matter what you do, there is no such thing as a safe university for an international student like us. So I made it uh, moderately safe, moderately ambitious and ambitious. So these are my universities. Uh, moderately safe, ASU and Northeastern. Um, moderately ambitious, Stony Brook University and Virginia Tech University. Mod ambitious, Georgia Tech, Purdue and University of Wisconsin Madison. Now Georgia Tech was that one university that I knew that I it was long shot. But it was something like uh, your crush being out of your league, but you're still asking them out in hopes that maybe they say yes. So yeah, Georgia Tech was basically that university for me and I don't have a reject as of now <laughs> but I don't think that I will have an admit uh, considering all the situation that has been going around. Uh, yeah, so this is basically my profile for fall 22 and uh, I would like to connect with everybody who is going to the US uh, for any computer related or anything basically for a STEM course. Uh, so that we can connect and maybe help each other out if you are a junior i hope this video helps you and other videos that are coming your way and uh, i will be letting you know my more pro uh, rejects and admits that i have gotten i hope there are more than one and if you are a senior i would love to see you stick around and maybe guide me on what to do with the situation and uh, if i should wait another year or if i should take my admit and how would that help my profile so in any any case, please uh, connect with me on Instagram or on this YouTube video. I would be sharing the uh, profile, my Instagram profile with everybody in the description below or somewhere. I don't know, I'm very new to this. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope that I bring a new video soon, as soon as possible. Right. And please subscribe. Thank you.